During its recent Discovery Day event at its facility in Elgin, Illinois, Absolute Machine Tools demonstrated the capabilities of the Nextern SA32P Swiss-style machine by cutting a 1-inch diameter spherical fitting with multiple small part features machined from 1144 stress-proof bearing steel, polished and ground. Though not necessary for this particular operation, the Nextern SA32P holds up to five static tools, four live tools, and five end working static tools on the main spindle cross slide. In addition to the sub spindle offset tool, the sub spindle face holds two live end working tools and one static end working tool. The fixed cross slide to the right of the main spindle holds two working static tools and two live end working tools. After establishing the z-axis datum face by using static tool position 3 on the main cross slide to finish face the part, Absolute Machine Tools begins the operation by positioning the five static inside diameter tools in front of the workpiece and using tool position 11 to spot drill and tool position 12 to drill to the program depth of the workpiece. With the main spindle oriented to perform live tooling, the subspindle, which has two live tool positions and one static tool position, moves toward the face of the workpiece on the main spindle to mill slots onto the end face of the part for identification purposes for the customer in the final assembly process. Next, the main spindle and the subspindle work independently to optimize the manufacturing process and provide free machining time on the subspindle side. On the main spindle, the machine finish turns the smallest front outside diameter of the workpiece using static tool position 3 on the main cross slide. Meanwhile, the subspindle rough turns the spherical ball on the end of the workpiece using static tool position 32, located to the right of the main spindle. While the small outside diameter groove is finished on the main spindle, the subspindle is roughing out the spherical ball. After grooving on the main spindle is complete, Using static tool position 3 on the main cross slide, the machine finish turns the 3 quarter inch by 14 major diameter and finishes the back OD thread relief and OD groove. Using static tool position 5 on the main cross slide, the machine finishes the 3 quarter inch by 14 TPI OD thread, while the sub spindle finish turns the spherical ball and taper using static tool position 31. Using static tool position 3 on the main cross slide, the machine turns over the OD thread to minimize the burr from the leading and the trailing edges of the OD thread. After which, the machine calls on static tool position 5 to thread the OD once more. At the same time, the machine mills the 13 16 hex on the sub spindle using live tool position 34. Then, using static tool position 3, on the main cross slide, the machine finish turns the critical outside diameter. The sub spindle ejects the finished workpiece onto the parts conveyor for final inspection of the finished product, then quickly moves to the front of the main spindle and waits to advance forward to pick up the next workpiece. Using live to position 9 on the main cross slide, the company mills the 13 16 hex using the Y axis on the main spindle. Absolute Machine Tools uses Static Tool Position 4 on the main cross slide to rough back turn the spherical end of the workpiece. With the main and sub spindles now synchronized, the sub spindle advances forward, clamps on the outside diameter, and the Static Tool Position 1 cutoff tool cuts off the workpiece, leaving 20 thou of facing stock for the sub spindle on Operation 2. In a production environment, the cycle time for this part would be about 90 seconds.